I'll tell you what, friends, it sure is nice to have a trap loader, especially for unloading the kiln. That was fast right there. What in the world am I doing with my gloves? Come on backwards. Stand by a minute. My goodness. I'm a YouTuber, I'm supposed to be a pro. Sitting there doing things backwards today. All right, let's start over. So we need to move this pine off and get this cedar out. There's not many uh, cedar boards in there, just a few. Looks like maybe four of them. Get these stickers out of the way. So for right now, we'll just set these cedars inside the kiln. We'll deal with them later. All right, friends, I'm a little late with this, but welcome back to the sawmill. Got a lot going on today. We got the kiln unloaded. This is four quarter pine. And there's also a few eight quarter pine as well in this stack. We're gonna use the track loader, take us up to the truck, get it loaded. And we're going to another sawmill about 30 miles away. So you guys hang in there. You'll see something on this channel I've never showed before, a wood miser edger. For those of you that are curious about this, this is white pine and it's about 300 board feet. Maybe a little bit more, but that's pretty close, about 300. Tell you what guys, it's tight quarters in here. I need to move these logs that are right behind me. I need to work on that in the next few days. guys we made it down here we're at ethan presley's sawmill ethan and his dad are up here working today sawing up some poplar let's go see what they're doing all right ethan is that a 12 footer what are we sawing on that we are making uh one by eight by 16 foot one by eight by 16 foot and for you guys interested ethan's running a diesel powered lt40 is this a super nope it's not a super a regular 40 it's got a diesel on it Really nice sawmill right there. All right, I won't bother you guys no more. Y'all get to work. This is Ethan's dad. He's the brains of the outfit. <laughs> All right, guys, this right here is what the pine's gonna be going through. This is Ethan's EG100 Woodmiser Edger. Let me raise up the hood here if I can. So here's what it is. It's pretty much two saw blades going there, edging both sides of your lumber. This will do up to two inches on the thickness. And as far as the length, it will do as far as you wanna put through it probably. It's got a color gas engine and a conveyor belt right here on both sides that guide in the boards. And it does have some safety features. 
It's got these kit bat fingers right here that keep the board from going backwards on you. Well, it's pretty hot down here. I guess it's time to get to work. I got a lot of boards to run through this machine. Don't go anywhere. guys there's the finished boards got all of them edged nice and straight looks really good i like that edger it done a really good job now if that edger looks familiar it probably should that was the one that i bought about two years ago i never assembled it though and i sold it to ethan about two months ago and if you're wondering why i sold that edger and now i'm needing one well stay tuned on that we'll talk about that here in a few weeks and Ethan is over here cutting some 16 foot. I think those are one by eights. Pretty long boards. And as far as his layout goes, let me get in the truck bed. When I get up higher, I'll kind of show you guys his little system here is solid. So this right here is a good layout. You got the sawmill right there. You got his log pile right there on the other side. He brings them right over to the loading arms. And then the edger is right here at the foot of the sawmill. So all the finished boards go on those saw horses and anything that he has to edge will come off the sawmill directly back to the edger. 
that's a really good workflow right there. He produces a lot of lumber down here, mostly yellow poplar. I've talked to a lot of people about running shiplap through a molder and most of them have recommended to me before you run your material through your molder to do your shiplap is to edge it down to make it as straight as possible. You're supposed to get a better finished product when you do that. So that's why we came down here today to run these boards through the edger. Well, it's already six o'clock guys. I'm probably done for the day. Got to run home, got to grab some dinner, got to empty out this truck bed of all this wood, put it back in the shop. So we'll probably strike up the motor or fire up the motor rather. That sounds a lot better, strike up the motor, my goodness. We'll probably fire up the motor tomorrow and see how this works. I think it's gonna make for a better board running these things through the edger or through the molder rather after going through the edger first. All right, guys, I just thought I was done for the day. Just had dinner and got a phone call from a gentleman who lives about two miles up the road. Well, he doesn't live there. I think he lives on the other side of town. But he's got a farm about two miles up the road, about 80 acres. So he gave me a call because he's got two walnut trees on the ground. And he said they are monsters. So let's go take a look. So in this business, friends, when you get phone calls like this, you gotta act on it. You can't put them off because they may find somebody else that wants that log more than you do. Now, I'm not even sure what he's wanting to do with it. I don't know if he wants me to saw it up for him, if he's wanting to sell it, I have no idea. He said they've been down for a little while. They come down with the storm a while back. And uh, he also said, which is really important, he's got some equipment there to load it if he needs to. He's got an excavator and a dump truck on site. So that's real important right there. A lot of times people will call with logs down and they have no way to load them up for you. So, uh, I don't know. Let's we'll see what he's got. I get these phone calls all the time, and sometimes they're duds, and sometimes they're really good finds. So, uh, you never know. the truck headed home so uh one of the walnut trees wasn't bad had a large crotch at the top of it it's 18 foot long the diameter at the base was about 28 inches probably something like that not too bad has been on the ground for a few months but no signs of rot looks like a good tree he's gonna bring that one over we're gonna saw it live edge slabs on nine quarter and uh kill and dry them here in about a year gotta let that stuff air dry for a while the other tree was actually an oak. He thought he had two walnuts. One was a red oak. And of course the one walnut that I showed you guys. So, not too bad. I thought he might want to sell them to me, but he's actually wanting to have them sawed up. So, still, we'll make some money right there. We'll charge him to saw them up and also charge him to kiln dry them after air drying. Not too bad. And it's only two miles from the house, so he won't have far to bring them to me. 